my eye. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> I'm saying. You saw that? Yeah. Half the candidate of Rick Ross got fed up, man. <laughs> 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 Yeah. 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 Oh, his bodyguards need to resign. They failed the number one thing. They ain't got nobody body, including their own. I mean, one nigga stayed down that bitch and kept letting them get it. Something ain't right. Something ain't right. Yeah, I think that's all. Something, son, something, son, just ain't right. What's going on? But man, I can do this all day, y'all. Keep them up, son, ain't right. Yeah, yeah, maybe those. Let me, let me just. That's that Harlem 125th Street, man. Yeah, yeah. Hey guys, you know, I just saw a, a very unfortunate situation that took place in Canada. And I want to say to everyone, you know, that I, um, I hope that that brother made it home safely. I hope that uh, he now has a different perspective and a better sense of what to do and what not to do while you're out in the world, you know? Um, that part where the, 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 the young guy went like, he did this little move and shit and got knocked the fuck out, like right there. That was not, that does not reflect him. That reflects his camp. And he might need to go get the uh, the dream chasers or um, <laughs> the 305 killers. <laughs> Man, this situation is crazy. So 50 Cent will not stop trolling Ray Cross after he went to Canada and got his ass did it, bruh, this is really crazy, trust me. Now, you all know the situation between Ross and 50 Cent. Ross was actually trolling one of the 50 Cent ghouls that was apologizing to McMill ghouls, right, in Philly. And Ross was like, kneel down and apologize, all that crazy stuff that Ross knows how to talk about, right? So, Ross was actually in the game before he traveled to Canada, bruh. So, he never knew that the whole situation is going to turn out. To be really crazy and really ugly for him in Canada. Now, nah, bro, this is a crazy. I'm going to play the full clip. So keep on watching the video. That was actually a 58 minutes clip of 50 Cent going live on Instagram and blasting everybody. So make sure you stick around to watch those clips, man. It's really going crazy for real. Now, at the end of the day, I think Ross actually made a very grave mistake, right? Because you can't go to a man's hometown to disrespect a man. I don't care what you guys think, right? And this shit might turn up to be a very ugly situation. Maybe, bruh, someone's life can go for this rap shit, bruh. It's really crazy. So we really need to be careful about that whole situation. I see so many people worried about who is reporting the news, who is talking about the news, worried about the accent and all that crazy stuff, where you are not worried about people trying to kill each other, right? Which is really crazy. Some people worried about a culture that you don't have a positive contribution on. I mean, that's crazy, bruh. We still focused on the whole thing that are not even important right now. Ray Cross and Drake. And Drake is not the type of person that Ray Cross want to be, you know, dealing with out here. Because trust me, man, people love Drake and that's for real. And some people are ready to die for Drake. Drake doesn't even have shit to do with that shit that happened. So go ahead and check out the full IG Live for 50 Cent. Yo, what's up? Why ain't nobody on this motherfucker, man? I call it, let me see. No, it's 30 people. Yeah. I'm live. I'm going live now. Check me out, right? Check me out. I'm bullshitting right here. I'm sure. <laughs> Look at this shit. Look at this shit. How I turn the camera? Wait, let me see. How you working on this shit, man? Oh, there you go. Pow, look at this. Tell me to say some fly shit, right? This is cool, right? Pow, look, Eve. I see you, Eve. I see you. Right? That's some fly shit right there. Eve be liking art shit like that. He ain't got that. You know, you ain't got that. Look at this. I got, um, I got to figure this shit out. I got to get a, what's the name? This is my, one of my favorite pictures. Right here, right here. But I got, what's the name? Who going to on here? Michael Rainey going to come fuck with me in a second. This is my original piece. Don't get boomed at, nigga. 
That's what I don't want to run, run up on me like you thinking I won't do it. I'll do it. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. Right there, this one right here, may God be with you. All right, this one of my RPC got me that. If Rivera got me that skull right there. If you look close, his brain is still in it. His brain is still in it. But this is some of my favorite, favorite art pieces and shit like that. Right here, you know what time it is. The girls be liking when you got the, uh, the Birkin bags and shit like that. Like, this is my human harmony stuff. This is like the merch and shit that they sent over here. Oh, we can, but look, pow, you know they like them Birkin bags. Boom, right? You gotta go and shit, this right here, my. Oh, I just finished this, my wine cellar. I gotta set this shit up in there because it's supposed to be. Cool in there, but it's some, some cool shit. Pam had that branching in the middle, you know the vibes, nigga. But this is, I put all of my plaques, say Eve did this too. They said he copied my style, you know what I'm saying? But we got black and white shit, we got the all of the plaques from different television and, and movie projects that I worked on. Got that there, some cool shit. But, but you know. Chilling around here. This one I put it together myself. I didn't use like a interior decorator for it, so I got my star from the Walk of Fame. Who's gonna get a star right now? I think Buster's gonna get one. Buster's gonna get this. This one of my favorite pieces right here. If you notice it, look at this. She's confused. Her confusion is drowning now. That's my favorite piece right there. Yeah. It's one of my favorite joints right there. Look, this hallway is the whole way to paradise. You see that? Can you see it? You see what's going on there? Ooh. Now you go going to paradise. Chilling it though. Who, who's supposed to be on the hook? I can't see their names though. All these people on there? Get some of them pieces, man. Get some of that art, damn. Oh, you got some art, man. I gotta figure it out. Look, I got some statues. Crazy. Look at this shit. I had this for a while, though. These, look at this statue. Oh, nah. Now you got samurai. Shit. It's cool shit, right? And then this, this shit, you can see shit spin around. Nah, that's tough. Yeah. Oh, nah. Nah, that, <laughs> yo, that's tough. <laughs> you, you, doing Insta, you doing Instagram cribs right now. Nah, nah. This ain't shit. nothing else to do. This shit better than MTV Cribs. What you doing though? Where you at? Where you... I'm chilling. I, I just came to uh, I came to visit my grandparents real quick. And they where at? Staten Island. I just finished moving and stuff. And to Staten Island? No. Nah, I what ain't moved to Staten Island. I'm, okay. I'm, I'm still in, in, in Jersey. Jersey. <clears throat> Jersey. I'm chilling. I know. Yeah. What's the name? You had the hot spot to find with that girl. That girl couldn't resist it. She had to grab something. Hey man, hey man. Hey, yeah. I got a move type shit. Like, whoa, hey, whoa, whoa, what's happening here? What's happening? Whoa, whoa now. <laughs> got a little too much dip on your tip. <laughs> you know, you know that's right. Street Yo, you, about to be a movie though. It's gonna be stupid. Come on. So what's the name? Um, you seen you seen uh, Gangs of London? Who? Gangs of London. Nah, it's a show called Gangs of London. I just started watching the thing. I think they, no, sorry. they ain't fucking with us, but they alright though. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't fucking with us, they alright though. I might, they I might have to go though. tune in. I might gotta right. tune in. It's what, what's, what's this on Netflix? Yeah, no, this is what is this right here? This one is it is Netflix, right? No. What is it then? Hulu. No, it's Apple TV, but that, that shit, it has a, a couple cool, I watched an episode of it, it was, I, I don't know, um, 
I got shit. They can't, you know. Shy. They, 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 they ain't fuck. They ain't fucking nah. us, but they not. I catch, you know, when shit is boring through the week, I might catch what they doing. <laughs> you know, you're not week. doing nothing. <laughs> when you're not moving around. And I got that joint. You like that? Like, look. How? That's a strap in there. That's old. <laughs> Yo, the other one, the the with the Bible on. Yeah, yeah. Uh, with the Bible. On I got, I got one hanging. Too. I got one hanging on the west side. I'll show it to you. Look, this is the. Oh, damn. Upstairs. Look at this. Shit bigger than a movie theater screen. On the um. This shit is cool because the other one, like I had to weld that shit. I had to make this one. Did. Took you 20 minutes to get upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shit, right? This is cool, right? Big ass touch. Oh, no, nah, those is top. But this is the. And then that hallway with the, with the, with the, the to, to the entrance to paradise. That's what's got them tags. They got the tag down. Nah, that's fine. Yeah. The shotgun. Right like that. Both five, all that. Pop. Wow. You got the whole it's cool. arsenal on that. Look, she coming out the wall. Nah, nah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, what the hell? <laughs> that, <laughs> shit, that shit is crazy. The office guy, what's the name? The office guy, yeah, titties in all the work there. I took the nipples off because the kids be running around. We did peace, my brother. At the booty oh. shit. Oh. Nah. That's cool. You did all that yourself too, right? You ain't doing interior. I picked. In, I ain't use no interior decorator this time. I picked all this shit out myself. Nah, you talk. Nah, you talk. You talk. I ain't gonna lie. So, um, my head would be hurting trying to do all that, bro. Ah, uh, yeah. The, the, since that I didn't, I'm almost finished with this joint. I might, I might have my sister uh, design my new, my new shit. She new shit. Yeah. She's there. I got, I got the them shit going on. But this correctly, right? like, I put the. They say you got a crazy uh, fascination. Nah, he did that himself. Yeah. He, 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 nobody, nobody decorated that. He did all that shit himself. Oh yeah. That's hard right there too. Yeah. Music shit. They think I ain't got no style. They like got no style. I'm gonna black and white on. You gotta let. You gotta let. No, you gotta show. You gotta show him something. <laughs> they, say oh, yeah, just, they say he just keep coming. <laughs> 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 Look, you yeah, go. The black. To, to I got this to go with the John. I think throw that black and white. Ow. Hold on. She, <laughs> she matching. She matching the little joint. You can take this one. When you, you want that? This is the old joint. I been here. I just changed it. It's originally uh, white. I just took the wrap off of it. I put the black and white stuff. On. Yeah. yeah I just gonna, got the back. Yeah, I'm gonna get that. Up. Twenty minutes. I come grab. Oh yeah. Right, right, right. more. <laughs> I don't know. What's the name you got that Porsche? Stupid. Oh, yeah, he's, 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 I'm going to come drop it off. He said, it's a pipe missing, though, but you can test it to make sure the water's running. Inside the pool? Yeah. Uh, he Jeff, said, that, but, uh, it's a oh, pipe. Jeremy. He didn't really put it in yet. Uh-huh. Yeah, Jeremy right here. So what's up, Mike? Hey, what's, up, what's good, broski? What's up, what's up, Keith Swan? Oh, Keith Swan? What's his name? Oh, he going to add. Yeah, like Keith Well, if I don't let you do your thing, I'm about to go back inside. I'm going to go chop it over my, with my right. grandparents and stuff like that. I All right. You. I hit you later. I love you. All right. He going, what's your name? Now, what y'all doing? Sir. Nah, the Licky, uh... They're gonna bring the other what's the name around there. What is the for now? Yeah, what's y'all doing on there? For what up, fam? Man, what up, baby? Man, what you doing? You give you taking me on tour and shit? Yeah, I'm, I'm coming again. I'm, I'm coming again. I'm like, you better be lucky. I ain't epileptic. You about to have me have a seizure on here? You turning corners and everything. I'm like, I'm thinking I'm in the movie and whatnot. <laughs> but 
Bug it out. What's man. up, man? Chilling, man. Everything good, man. I'm fucking man. I can't wait to get out there, really, because I'm I'm bored to death, really. I'm telling you, I've been doing some cool shit though on the TV, on the film side, shit. Oh, I, I mean, sure. I'm That's sure. Why I when I get everybody out, to That's why I'm huh? Saying. I want to get back to show you the studio. Man, Yo, listen. Like I'm gonna come in a I'm gonna come in a day early, so I I'm can you know chill. We grab something to eat or whatever. I want to see the studios because I heard you bought up all the street port. You ain't even leave me a tra trailer home or nothing. It got some cool shit there. It got some shit there. Said, he said it's some cool shit there. It's still more cool shit there. You know, hey. what's up with CH? You spoke to him? Yeah, yeah. Everything is good, man. We on point for the big festival that you're doing. I, I love what you what you're doing with comedy and, and with the music. You bring Yo, I just did it. Like it's almost overwhelming for them. Like even the like like the political side of things out there. Like, mm -hmm. What? How many people are you bringing? Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know they only got like three hoes. I, I put eighty-five percent. I did a deal for eighty-five percent of the hotels showing no nose to place. Exactly. You already know what the party looks like. Yo, it's you gonna be nuts. <laughs> I got. I just want to make sure you don't know it's your place. Hey, listen. Hey, listen, bro. It is not gonna be the same city after you put your foot on it, your, actually your imprint on it. I think it's gonna be a uh, sky's the limit, man. I love how you just always incorporate the culture. You know what I'm saying? You bring the energy to the to it, and it then after that is you. That's what it is. They, they know, like, they, they had a, a small, they got a piece of it in Tycoon. Yes. I'm gonna do Tycoon, but yeah. that's just like, I, was so, I had so much fun doing it then. I'm, I'm like, that's the way I want the ribbon the, the ribbon cutting of us being in Shreveport now, like being being able to be out there and film everything. The tax incentive is was soft, like for real. So this is really what is driving my, my business out there. But then when you look at having the ability to take space, they didn't understand it when we did it in, in Texas, when we was in Houston. Because it was like, I really wanted to give the business to the local business owners. Correct. Yeah, I, was try, I was trying to take the party to G5 in the area area um what, what's the club out there area area 38 or something like that it's, it's address and in, in houston is address yeah. yeah address yeah i wanted to go to all those spots and then now it's like they get it in shreveport though because they understand that the, the, the people that come the traffic that come yeah well i mean the thing about it that i think is so dope about doing something like that Everyone eats off the situation, you know what I mean? You bring it entertainment, but also mm -hmm. the hotels, the energy of the city changes, the dynamic. Because I was in Shreveport um, I, like about seven months ago, and I was so shocked at how beautiful it was. It was my first time, you know, you're right on the water. Everybody is so nice, you know, that's the part of Louisiana yeah, that yeah. where it's like good food, good people. Everybody like, Bill! I can't believe you came down here, boy. I swear to God, man. I told my mama that was you, bro. I told that mama that was you. I was like, oh my God. I, I was causing, I was causing some drama out there. I was like, this is dope. The love is real, man. Um, I can't wait to see, you know, how the people turn up, show up, and show out. Nah, it's gonna be good. And it was I, I just can't wait to, to be in the midst of everything. That one, like, why it's all up and acting. Cause what, I, what, I, what, how you gonna do it the first day we gonna do comedy yeah. or you are you gonna do comedy music and comedy like how you wanna the, do the it the way I did it was like the first thing the comedy show certain people can't can stay mm -hmm. they, they got all these other obligations like Bunny Bag he gotta rock during the comedy he gotta do something there then mm -hmm. um Community Love like the a few of the artists they gotta we gotta do something during like in between the comedians mm -hmm. but I, I was trying to to keep the, the music separate because the, the ticket to the comedy show is their ticket to the music show the day later. Easy like, money. So it's like Thursday and then Saturday they come back to the same seat type thing. You know what I mean? So is there, um, have you been staying out there a lot just to sort of get, you know, acclimated to Shreveport so you can learn it, you know what I mean? I and really get, get your feet up. You I got been, it? Yeah, and I've been, what's the name too? I've been doing like, was I'm not 
entry port, I'm on the, the Google Maps thing because I'm buying places out there. I've been riding around the street. They don't see me, but I'm riding around the street. <laughs> <laughs> I'm riding around and I'm getting it. I'm riding around and I'm <laughs> For real, for real. And I'm like, um, it's, it's all coming together, though. Like, I think in that, like, in the entertainment district, I want to revitalize that. I want it to get all back. Yeah. And, uh, because I know you can't come and have a good time there if that's not right. Yeah, that that. But it, you know, it's a step at a time. I think the jump off, obviously, like you said, the ribbon breaking is the festival, and you know, like we did with Tycoon Weekend. Tycoon Weekend was crazy. Tycoon oh. Weekend is a serious problem. Like when you, if you want to have fun, and you thinking about like where such the culture, where the energy, the music. Every venue you go to is going to be you. You know, uh, I had a ball. Like, I literally didn't want to leave Houston, bro. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, 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 it felt like, because the first, the first, you kicked it off so crazy. In Houston, we had like 15,000 people. Right. At the, the, the uh, independent, no, it was, what's the name? It was, um. We did Toyota Center. Toyota Center. And, and, and that joint. What up, Quay? What up, there? Hey, what up there, 50? We got what the up there, boy? Let's go. <laughs> hey, man. First of all, I want to say what's up to you, Bill. You know I love you, man. We go way on. back in the whole time. 50, man, thank you for me, making me a part of this. You down oh, in my own stomping the ground. You know what I mean? Yeah. They would have said, what the fuck is wrong with 50 Wiz Earthquake? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with that nigga? <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he don't fuck with Quake. What happened? I thought that was his man. <laughs> yeah, 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 man. You know that nigga right there. I, nigga, you, you is uh, man. This being another artist, let me just tell you this, man. First of Go. all, you give me, um, you have always given me strength for me being an artist, man, because I know about your friend to be be hated on in the establishment and then being hated on in your in your own neighborhood and be able to balance yeah. all of them and still keep your creativity yeah with, man with no place for you to find no solace or no sanctuary because at the hood they was hating on you right. and then you had the, the establishment hating you at the same simultaneously i'm not and um to tell you the truth man you helped me out a lot please keep putting them posters out because I'm here because something that you told me when I was going through my hardest time is um, if you ain't really the killer nigga, avoid confrontation at all. <laughs> 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 so, so since Just I was practicing waiting, I said, when that nigga told me that, hey, Bill, hey, Bill I went to sleep. I was able to sleep, nigga. That nigga said, if you ain't willing to kill a nigga, avoid confrontation at yeah. by all means. I yeah. said, there it is. I there it is. Food, <laughs> there go my steak. There go my asparagus. Nigga, I got yeah. my nutrients. I can take it from this part on. I live on that. So I always want to tell you that. From the bottom of my heart, nigga, I was able to digest that in my life. My, the shit for me growing up in Southeast D.C. to be able to digest this and let it go. Yeah. Be like, all right, nigga, I'm going to let you go. I'm going to let you go. Because I ain't willing to kill you. <laughs> He did something he didn't like, and he felt like he should have said, Pardon me, or something, right? And he didn't right. him. Slap him in the face. He got that instant gratification for the moment, but when he come back, Boston, oh, he wish you didn't have that. I wish you didn't feel that feeling. Yeah, yeah it's a whole yeah. nother level. Yeah. And the thing that's crazy, man, and I'm, I'm gonna give you your flowers, 50, man. You know what's dope, man? It's like people don't realize the road to success is is always obstacles, you know what I'm saying? And sometimes when you elevate, it almost seems like the obstacle get thrown right in the front of you as you're making a transition. So it you feel, get tested. like they get close to you. Yeah. yeah. Oh. The, people, the people that try you was right there to know that you're not, that's not a good idea. And yeah. that, and that's a fact. They get closer and you go, what the fuck made you do that? And you go, this is really like, this is really like a life dream. You were really testing me. Yeah, and then, and you know, and it's, and it's, like you said, in the moment, you know what I'm saying? If you could take a beat and, you know, think about 
what you have to lose and where you're going, sometimes it ain't that big of a deal. You know what I mean? Our pride a lot of times and our ego get in the way, but hey man, if we can make that decision choice right there on the other side of that could be the best part of your life. That's why I learned it that more than anything. I, you know, I tell my son this all day long. I said, you got, it's, it's, it's easy to equate. You're either going to deal with this nigga that you quote unquote disrespected you uh -huh. for a minute in exchange for somebody going to be disrespecting you for the next 20 years. <laughs> you understand? Uh, pick, pick, that part. Pick, pick which one of these disrespect you going to be able to deal with. <laughs> you going to <laughs> You gonna have to deal with disrespect. That same disrespect, twenty-four seven, all day. So, do you want to take this one disrespect oh, and able to over take twenty it years? And let it go, or you want to deal with it in return for that twenty-four yeah. seven for I twenty know. years disrespect? Okay. I, you know, I learned from you, man. I take that shit. I swear for God, man. I live on it. The whole one, the one you tell me all the time, because I be feeling like you're talking to me, fit. I be like that nigga said then the. The one, and you ain't gonna get the success without jealousy, envy, and the motherfucker when you say entitlement, and that's the motherfucker that's close to you. Woo! Yeah. That you would sit here that's beside you, that no matter what you do for, still think you're supposed to do more. Yeah. Man, yeah. you don't understand nah, that, y'all. And Yo, young yeah. and, <laughs> Listen, it's man, true, you though. know yeah. you are the guideline for motherfuckers that has the the aspiration to get to be where you at a boss on it and you're going through this them trials and tribulations because these your men these are the niggas that was cool for you was right. there for yeah. you God picked you out of all four of us. Like, hey, you go. I said, nigga, you come with a better plan, nigga. I'll show you how to be an Indian. I'll show you how to be a motherfucking Indian, nigga. I'll show you how to be all right. right. But now, you ain't got no game plan, nigga. You priceless to me. If I don't think game, you $20 an hour, nigga. We can't live out $20. Nah. Wait, I just took, I'm, I'm in Atlanta. I went to go see Tyler, all right? Right. This nigga lay out. It's, it, he put, he's probably, not, not probably, he's about 10 years ahead of everybody. Yeah. Well, yeah, facts. Back, and then you're going, hey, from, from there, like, at this point, like, I'm sitting there talking, he's like, nigga, that shit you got is crazy. Because he said, like, we was talking about the, the power series and stuff like that. He's been number one in African-American and Latina households for 10 years. Right? right. But he's going, how much you paying for that? I said, man, I'm paying a lot for this shit. Like, <laughs> The money right. that is being put into it to make it that because it's premium it's super high quality this model though is like it's it i'm not i'm not gonna lower the quiet the quality of the material that i'm producing right. but i gotta get into his deal structure his deal, right the way he's doing and that's it's actually now i'm moving into actually being able to provide production services and stuff like that but if it's not at my studio i want it at dollars right okay okay there you go. Oh, you, right. but see, that's the thing that I, I've been trying to do in the business too. It's like, why aren't more guys partnering up and really, really taking this game over? Like how we used to hustle records back in the 90s, right? Catch street team. We was flyers. We was putting it in the barbershop. We putting it on the, on the, on the, on the uh, telephone pole. We selling records out the trunk, right? That's the same way okay. I feel like we need to be in Hollywood. So we going to do a movie with, with Quake. I got a script that I wrote or whatever, okay. produce, we gonna get it done. We team up, we go to Atlanta, shoot it, we can shoot it here in Shreveport, we can go over there. Like that's that's how you do it. You you don't have to sit around waiting. Nah, 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 nah. look, it's, it's, look, they're not even telling me no, bro. I got 34 shows. Of course, 10 different now. This is one that just came out on Peacock, the, uh, the uh, TikTok star burners on there now so it's, it's live on there now it's different some of the stuff i like a lot of the true crime stuff so even the docu pieces and stuff like that you're gonna see right but i got the new um the reboot of american gangster for a and &E. a bunch of stuff oh nice so, yeah i got some stuff going there. like you will see a lot of the things you saw it, it was before it's gonna be a new spin on it because it's me now ah, so, ah there it is and when you think gangster now like the way the young boys look at gangster out running the street now they look at violent person so they're not looking at a person who had influence and, and develop a way that, a business person this, mm -hmm. the guy that's orchestrating the entire that has the most influence over there and he has a guy that will blow whoever head off he said blow their head off 
Right. They want to see. They want the shooters. Yo, they want to see the shooters. They want so the shooters. Like, I'm gonna show them those guys now. Like, I'll be able to show them that the ones who was doing damage in that way. They, they put a lot of work in, and then that, like that, it just. I watched him say, because I'm talking to the young boys, and he's like, yo, he said, nah, he ain't even like that, homie. I'm like, what you mean? He said, nah, he ain't, he ain't got no bodies. I said, what? <laughs> I'm like, this he ain't got no bodies. <laughs> he ain't got no bodies. I said, I'm what the saying, hell? You ain't got nobody. You ain't got nobody. You ain't got nobody. <laughs> nobody. <laughs> yeah, that's that standard, though, Greg. They don't care about the, you being able to and not having to answer anybody. Just doing nah, exactly they, what you they not thinking. They not thinking long term, though. See, yeah. that's that boss. That's the boss moves that we need to teach our young brothers and sisters to do because that's longevity in the game. I mean, you've been in the game over twenty years, bro. Twenty years, and I'm talking smoking, like coming at them, swinging. Oh, not King. Nobody. <laughs> <laughs> not, not, not Keith with an F. Not Keith. <laughs> hey man, hey man, all that sexy yeah. shit. Relax. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nigga, stop looking at us, nigga, like you trying to get us to come to your show. Man. Like, look, Yo, like, man, look. sit up in the chair, yeah. Keith. He's he got, he got, he like, look, let me, let me posture myself correctly before I say anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got yo, yo, his and yo, his Instagram look like an album cover, nigga. Yo, that's it. Yo, he, nigga, look like you been waiting on something. What's that? You got it, you got it. Took you so long, motherfucker. Hey, man, man I just wanted to talk wait, to y'all nigga, for a minute, third. man. I'm out here in the studio. You did, okay. you know. <laughs> What up, Keith? Stop showing just your forehead, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Keith, you can't get on it on live with a gangster and two comedians. It's just, it's just a mess. <laughs> Keith, like this. Look, I, I really don't like you, niggas. I just came <laughs> because it's, it's the movie. <laughs> hey, Keith, you look like you on a gummy. Why can't hear? Why can't? Why can't I hear you? You gotta take the mute off, Keith. You gotta take the mute hey, off. Keith, hit the screen so we can hear you, fam. Somebody, somebody under thirty, help him. <laughs> he <gonna get> <laughs> under thirty, they understand how old is. Yeah, yeah, the third under thirties, they'd be like, "Yo, man, all you gotta do is do this and do that." I, yeah. Well, this shit gonna be crazy. But I must say, I'm excited, man. Y'all make me, the, the, the last time, this is why, because the tycoon thing made it, I knew that that to, to jump the comedy off first. Yeah. Then yeah. we put the music in between it, but this one, it's gonna be super big, bro. Yeah. Like that, that's so why how, do, how do people, <laughs> how do people that's watching get, we gotta uh, put the link up if people wanna get tickets. Some people might wanna fly down for it, yeah. so we might wanna put the link up in here yeah, so see. people can see it, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. Drop that link in there so if people want to get I tickets and stuff. Nigga under 30, he's doing it right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 50, so I got to have somebody under 30. He, he put that link in there yeah, ASAP. <laughs> oh, shit. Yeah, what happened to Keith? Man. What happened to Keith? <laughs> he, he ran out of minutes. Yeah. yeah right. <laughs> <laughs> hey Keith, you better not be on no cricket, man. man. Where you at? He like got 13 minutes for the whole month. We fucked around and ran up his unlimited minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Hey man, I'm looking forward to it, man. I can't wait, fifth man. I sure appreciate what you're doing, man. We're gonna chop it up when I get down there. I gotta jump on another okay. call real quick. But I love you guys, man. Quake, you know you my bro. Hey, I I holler with y'all in a minute, man. It's been real. We're gonna get that work in, Let's man. Let's go. Man, man, work in. Peace. <laughs> Yeah, man. Thank you, though, dog. I really appreciate you putting me on this, man. I was happy to see you, man. It would have been, you know? been wrong if you wasn't there, bro. Like, I'm looking on to try and get everybody through, and it was like, it was, it's a few other guys I was trying to get in touch with that was, like, was tied up. 
I got a real surprise for him though. We got some. We got the dogs coming out. Yeah. We got the dogs yeah. coming out. Yeah. And then and he going. I ain't gonna say it till get there because I told him we was we were announce it, but it, it's gonna be exciting, man. Like I think, look, when they get a chance to see that energy too, that competitive energy, because you guys are the best in the field. Period. You know what I'm saying? You can't, you can't really question it. Right. You can't. Like it's like the the, the room itself. Individuals, two of them in the room can fill the room. Right. It's just, we all, having them all come together is just everybody at one time. You know, so it's recognizing the the whole comedy culture. Like the human harmony is perfect. It's it's just look. If a person's not happy, they're not enjoying. So I, I have no interest in what they what they're saying. Man. I have no interest in what they're doing. Right. Because they don't know how to live at that point. Like you, you look. If you say, right. I, I was talking to earlier the Halut Living. I did a. a a photo shoot, cover shoot for them, and uh, they, they was interviewing me. And I told, I said, some people they may not have the same amount of money, but they know how to live better than the others, so they pick better people right. to right. surround themselves with in the inner circles, and they're fucking happy. Right. That alone, yes. that alone allows you to live a good life. Right. It's priceless. It's yeah. the quality of life, man. Uh, you yeah. know what I mean? It's, it's that negativity. I can't fuck with, dog. I, I mean, because it's it's short. You, you Like you said before, man, it's the quality of life, the happiness. Okay. Of it. Oh, oh, shit, here we go. Yeah, nigga. Uh, yeah, nigga. <laughs> 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 you know he's a hog. Yeah, nigga, I'm here now. That's why I'm asking y'all what's talking. Don't no, no, no talk no more shit. I'm here <laughs> <laughs> Earthquake, you need to shut the fuck up. Out here, you making all the goddamn jokes and shit. <laughs> <laughs> what up, sweat? What up, baby? How you, you doing, man? How man, you doing, I'm boy? blessed. Man, you That's know right. I'm good, man. Y'all yeah, borrow some money, nigga. Oh, uh, no, you <laughs> got it, nigga. Remember, we was going through it the same time, nigga. We had to divide that money up. <laughs> <laughs> what, what up, baby? How you doing, boy? I'm good, man. This is man. That's good. Cool. You know, after you kept it. Last time we had to have a season, yo. Listen, I'm showing these young niggas how to sing without auto tune. No, auto tune, baby. I can't do it. Can't do it. But I learned from the best. Can't do it. Can't do it. Ain't no fighting this time with the RB niggas, are they? No, no. Great songs. That nigga still banned. Bow Wow for the pick picking up money off the floor. He's banned. They're trying to take money. Them young army niggas are trying to take money home. They, they, they don't know how to leave the money alone. <laughs> he's for the dance, he's for the girls. He can pick the money up. And he's like, yo, somebody better come get this. <laughs> At home on the tape with the money, I'm like, what? No, I my did God. it to you to throw to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 they was fighting. I'm like, man, what's wrong with these young boys? Well, I don't understand. <laughs> but, but, what's the name? But it's a good thing, man. I'm glad that you're doing what you're doing, baby. You make you making a huge statement to the world, to everybody, man. And uh, congratulations, man. You uh, definitely deserve that shit. If you ain't talking about a nigga making it last forever, I, God damn. I hear you even. You got to talk about when we, when we put it together, because we're going to put it together. You already know what we're talking about. Yeah. Get back to that. Smack, right? Look, look, look. Yeah. The, right now, the kids is hearing drill music, right? Mm -hmm. the, 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 the young boys are listening to drill music. They hear 90s R&B music the way we hear Motown. Right, right, right. You can right. still hear the melodies. We still know why it was a hit mm -hmm. and success, but the style is different. You don't see five niggas in a suit doing the same dance nowhere right now. <laughs> like, there's nowhere. Because <laughs> <laughs> these things, because they get on the joint, and as soon as they got an idea, it turns into them being a, a solo act. Right, right. So right, right they don't right, ever put right. it together to make the, the special moments. Like, we get when you get... Like Chris, I, I separate Chris because it's showmanship. You know what I mean? Right. Like that, him being able to, to choreograph movement and all that shit, he can do that shit with no problem. So I, I put him on another level as far as the discipline is connected mm -hmm. to that. Because a lot of the other artists, ain't, ain't, that ain't gonna, he ain't gonna do that. You know what I mean? mean? Like, I, you, know, I, I, you can't take nothing away from that boy. Yeah. You know, Chris is a bad boy. I ain't, I, I ain't front. I be watching this and the guy be like, oh my God. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? I don't give up my guys to a whole lot of people. Nah, you <laughs> <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So, he's a bad boy. You can't take that away from him. So, you know, they need to go ahead and give him his...
you, you know, it's flowers. Yeah, now they try, you know. Now they try to that not because look, they banned Chris, didn't it? And his audience, they couldn't stop the audience from loving him. He banned, right, that's true. Banned, yeah. like, you and, know, and, 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 you know, sometimes you get, I mean, you know, right is right and wrong is wrong, but, you know, when you're a kid and you, and you learn in the ropes as a kid, you know what I'm saying? You you know what I'm saying? You have to understand that boy as a kid, growing as a kid. Yeah, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So, you know, we all had to learn to, to get to the point we had now in our lives. We had to go through hurt, some hoops and hurdles. Mm-hmm. We did some fucked up shit. <laughs> but, that's, but that shit is sheer talent. It. This right. talent pulled them through that shit. Like, right, you know right. what I'm saying? Because like, if it was up to the establishment, he would have went away. He just didn't. Right. <laughs> but they can't stop that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, talent is just overriding everything. You know what I'm saying? You saw that shit that like, happened in Canada? Rick Rose got fucked up, man. That nigga's crazy. That nigga's crazy. All his bodyguards need to resign, nigga. Uh, them uh, niggas, uh, they uh, failed the number one thing. They ain't got nobody body. It's who they own. <laughs> Sun, I mean, sun, one nigga just stayed down that bitch sun, a couple of days. Yes, they ain't right. <laughs> <laughs> Something ain't right.
Buck? What's up, Buck? What it do? I told niggas that you was when I started announcing niggas, you said, I'm coming anyway. Damn right I was coming. <laughs> Gotta have a real girl. Yeah, right. That energy you bring is special, you know that. I want to say, I wanna see, you know I wanna see, um, damn man. You you might got to do what's the name though. If you stay for the weekend, you gotta do the uh the commentating with for the, the uh the basketball game. I'm there. Hey, because the slurry basketball game is that the, the day after it's the Thursday. And then that because I know how you talk to the around the sports, the passion around sports for that shit. I'm watching this shit. You know I'm waiting, I can follow your page and shit. So I'll be looking that shit is where it's at. The um I, I got Cam coming to do it too. Camera. I gotta find I gotta find Mace Mace be acting funny style. Once you get Cam Cam told him, I just now I gotta call him specifically. What kind of shit is that? Like you already know. You could have called me, nigga. I gotta wait to now I gotta go give him a personal invitation to come. That's how you yeah. some funny shit. My birthday come up. I'm gonna, it's the second to July second, my birthday the sixth. Oh, that's right. That's right. Yeah, that's yeah, that's 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 <laughs> You been Yo, on fire. You know you been this. On fire, really, I man. told on you that super tour. early. Don't, no, look. You know how early I was on on the year sheet. No, no, no. Hold on. Let's oh, say this now. Because I've been yeah. wanting to say this shit. Yeah. Hold on. I've been wanting to say this shit to you yeah. previously. Thank you for that. Word. Because I, I I heard that shit. I said, oh, this thing is, this is super fun. That's why I put it in front of Pop Smoke and, and uh, Quavo on that joint. Because um, I was doing I was doing the Pop's album at that point. They, they wasn't even going to produce the record at that point. If I didn't get involved, it would have made it, made it out. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you did, man. That, that, kind of, that, that really jump started my career, honestly. That, no. that, that spark, man. That shit was one of them joints. And then I'm looking for that, that shit was dumb funny, though. Like you was, look, the, actually, I'm, everything that, that the niggas wouldn't be comfortable seeing, when you say it, it's the funniest shit in the world. And, and, and I'm, like, I'm myself, I'm over there. Like, they go, what's wrong with this nigga? Like, because I'm laughing for like 15, 20 minutes after I saw it. <laughs> and they go, nah, I just, I'm my own little, small little shit right here. Yeah. Because I was sitting there watching it. When you said that, even the, uh, the response shit, when you said about what, the puppy shit, because it's almost current events with you. I be watching it, it's like what's happening right now, and then you do some shit, and I'm looking for here, it's crazy, like all the way crazy. So, look, within culture, it means more than you think, than you know it does. Cause niggas is watching it on every level. If they're not, they're not keeping their finger on the pulse of what's going on. So they're gonna miss the action when shit take off. Cause you know what time it is. Like the niggas is not sitting in one spot. We gotta work and move to the next level. I um ran into. I looked at one one dude I seen him online. That he was on the uh the Tyler Perry shit. I just seen him. Like he was just. I was just seeing his, his clips online. Shit he was doing. And then I went. To, to go visit Tyler, he was in the series, the the, the new Thanks. series, and I'm like, yo, this I'm, this is from. He's like, yeah, I see you like my joint a couple of times, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So he gonna end up pulling up on us too, but he ain't gonna be on the show, but he'll be out there, you know, while we enter the street report. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to get in acting, movies, really man. That's the main. That's the, the end route for me. This comedy is so easy because it's now straight. I don't try to be. Be funny. I'm just being me, just talking yeah. shit. Make nah, that's funny. I want to yeah. be in the acting, action, drama. That's 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 my goal, bro. More niggas. That's why I'm working so hard to get towards uh, that shit, bro. Like that's what we have. Look, shit. you know, when once I get going, shoot, shoot for it. Look, by January, I'll be up and running scripted projects, stuff like that. And then the, nobody's in control of me. That's the part. But the, the shit that have the scares them is there's no control of me. I, that, that's what I like about you, you're your own man, you don't give a fuck. That's yeah. me. That's how I feel toward these the people. Like, dude, you call them trash. They were trash last night, nigga. That's not, like, motherfuckers, I got money on this shit. Yeah. Balling out, nigga. Balling out with these hoes, but on this court, you tired. Like, I'm the type of nigga I'm gonna call you out. I'm gonna hate you today, love you tomorrow. It's just me. Yeah, and he's doing, and I'm sitting there, you needed two more three pointers, and everything would have went right at the motherfucking sports book. But you bullshitting, man. Yeah, and after the night we in LA, you going to town. Nigga, I'm in town, nigga. I don't want to see you, nigga. I just lost five bands. Oh, hey, nigga. You're fucking up the bag, and you coming in here. Yeah. Coming in here with this little old, you know what I'm saying, little old thot shit tough off, nigga. That was last summer, nigga. Come on, man. That's how I be feeling, man.
Nah, I'm, I'm, trust me. I'm looking like what? One day, Tyrese, Tyrese Hasbury, right? I'm on the phone with him because he was going to Fashion Week and shit like that, right? So I'm like, yo, I'm not gonna make it, but they sent me all these invitations and shit to this shit. So I said, if you need someone like this, just send me and we'll put it together because I'm, I, you know, everybody already invited me to everything. So he went, he had a ball out there, shit like that, but he can't make it to to Hugh Muhammad because he's gonna play in the Olympics. Yeah. So he, they're gonna still be out there. But what's the name will be there? Damon, um, Lil from Milwaukee, yep, look. Yeah, that's the homie, he cool, man. That nigga's super cool. I ran into him in Vegas and shit like that, so we get him out, out there. That's what I fuck with. Yeah. 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 Sure. All right. Sure, I'm that's excited, me. man. I know, I know about all 3,000 of my family members, they getting tickets, man. They pulling up, man. <laughs> man it's gonna be good. And let me just say this now, too. I just know Eric Quake, the GOAT, I love him. Like, I look up to him. Uh -huh. They better be motherfucking ready when I hit that stage, Phil. I'm not bullshit. <laughs> they already got their big name. They established. Everybody trying to just think I'm an internet comedian. Okay. Wait till okay. we get on that motherfucking <laughs> stage. Okay. He's that you. They gonna feel the real. <laughs> I know. Yo, yeah, it's almost a Because if they, if they come bullshit, damn, you set yourself up, man. Yeah. Yeah, you know, because your boy's out there out for blood. <laughs> I did. Damn, hey man, sometimes you gotta tie a bait up to the tree, man. I'm a wolf, man. I gotta get it. Yeah. I dig I that. Get. Well, my birthday coming up, shit, I gotta get. I went and got me something nice, but. What? What you get? No, look, this was. Look, I had that girl. I really liked the girl, so I got that for her, but I got that for me instead. So I put it on my hand, and then. I, then, I, I went and got me this one, right? Ooh. Nice little one. That bitch shining, boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You gotta work hard, man. I know y'all on her seeing this shit. You gotta work hard, man, to get this shit, man. Yeah, nothing else to do but treat yourself good, right? Hey, man. Work hard for that yeah. shit, man. Fuck that. Let's do it. I, um, I'm, I'm excited, you. man. When we get to. Uh, man, what you, now, what you doing for the culture, bro? It's, it's just crazy, feel. Yeah, crazy, I get a chance to see firsthand. I get a chance to see what's happening, like like who's who and shit like that, and watch. Cause I be I be looking. I'm I'm, I'm on the thing all the time, looking in to see who's standing out and shit like that. And then you want to put when you just when you become you start to have the ability to place them in the right situation and let them take off like a rocket. Boom. That's all it is for me. I'd be significant. I'd have enough gratification from knowing because the. The money's not making it. There's no more adjustments as far as money's concerned with me. I, I'm so far from where I was just at that I don't think any new amount of money is going to shift my behavior or anything that's there. Like, I'm just, I'm happy already. I got all the stuff that I need around me right now. But, like, I was saying, look, when I did, I first got on, uh, 04, I bought, I, I bought Tyson's crib, right? So that shit was 55,000 square feet. I paid 70,000 a month there for 14 years, right? And got tired of the place. Just didn't even want to go there no more. But I was going, I was standing in a, in a condo instead of that spot because it was so big that, you know, like that place is no good unless you're having a party. Mm. You see in bedrooms, you still gonna sleep on one bed, bro. You know, so like that, it was only fun when I when I had people around to go have, a, like everybody's there, so it was going nice. Now we're comfortable in that spot with, with all those people, but when, once I don't need that shit. Like I needed it at the, at the time that time. Feel like. So that's what. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like like you said, it mentioned all the other shit you want. Shit, get it, get it. You, you ain't gonna need it to, for your whole journey, but you need to feel those feelings, that level of, of accomplishment, and and fuck it, why not? We seen like that song you put out. This is how I feel like the doves fly. Yeah, <laughs> in my Billy Brumpy Prince shit. <laughs> That's that Billy, cause it seems like, yeah, I already know. Success, yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, you looking going, I, when you look at that confirmation, when you feel like you made it like that, that's, that's what it's about, man. That's the moment we work for. You know what I'm saying? And, and you deserve the, every bit of that shit. That's why, you know, I say, man, splurge when you get ready to do that. And then when you, you know, at this point where you get over that shit, you're like, I'm too cool with this shit. Let me just go ahead and do some other shit. But, but yeah, we got to live on the highest level. I was just talking about people pick good people 
when it, when you a good judge of character, you bring good people into your life, you live better than people. People got money and they don't have good people around. That's true. That's true. Yeah, and you look and go, nah, yeah, they all there for that money or for what they can get out of that. Shit like that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's interesting because the, the most expensive thing we spend is time. You know, we can't get the time back in, in, in your lifetime. Once you start looking back, tell my man back in the day, it was like this. <laughs> And if you can't get that back, or nah. not. <laughs> <laughs> you know, a lot of niggas be hanging on to that, man. Back in the day, I had this. And yeah, nigga ain't yeah. got nothing now. Nigga ain't got no teeth. You know what I'm saying? It's like, but, nigga be showing you old videos and shit. But any conversation about money that starts with remember, fuck that. <laughs> I mean, the money gone. <laughs> and you know my favorite saying, Phil, it's crazy. Look, I got people that's way older than me calling me big homie. That shit run me yeah. high. No, it's because they see that and your aura is bigger, man. Like even the younger, they know that their boy is something special. That's why they say big homie regardless, because it's like, nah, he big. Everybody's starting to recognize that the shit taking off in a different way. They know, look, the trajectory. You look at shit. We see niggas that niggas seven foot three, right? In the neighborhood. We knew that nigga was going to the league. I'm like, they got to go to the league. <laughs> if you don't go to the league, nigga, you don't get to... Man, we wouldn't even let him do shit because we thought he was definitely going. He, he made it though. He didn't go, bro. He, he did good, and then he played. He won. He won a, a whole bunch of shit with Syracuse, but he never made it to you know to league. It's a lot of really good players that don't make it there. But we, if we see that in you. We wouldn't even let him have a fight. Like somebody say something to him, we'd be fighting at the park for the niggas because it's like, you know this nigga's supposed to make it. Why yeah. you wanna fuck it up? <laughs> All right. True shit. True shit. Uh, but look, it's love, man. I just I'm glad I got a chance to touch bases with you. Cause and then I'm gonna see you so we can kick it. Cause really we can so at the end of the day, man, let me know what you all think under the comment section. Because right now, I thought about the whole situation and I really vibe with what 50 Cent stands for. Trust me. I'm a die hard 50 Cent fan, man, whether you like it or not. Now, I also love Rick Rose, right? But I think that Rose was doing way too much right now. Because check out what Rose was trying to do, bro. If he actually succeeded doing what he did in Canada, he would have called Drake a coward and told Drake that your country people, your hometown people, doesn't even support you. Trust me, because when he was playing that, you know, Drake this track not like caused by Kendrick Lamar in Canada, in Vancouver. Bruh, he was recording that shit, man. He recorded it. He let his goons record it from stage and he was trying to play cool so that he can come back, post it on Instagram and let the whole internet go crazy over that, right? And he's going to say, yo, Drake, I went to your hometown, Vancouver, Canada. I was playing not like us this track by Kendrick Lamar and none of your people can do shit. That was actually what Rick Ross was planning to do. But unfortunately for him, that didn't work out. That didn't go well, bro. It didn't go well for him. So it's all crazy situation at the end of the day. But one thing I pray for this whole situation is for you never to turn bloody, bro. Because we've seen this type of shit happen over and over again. We see rappers dying every day. You know, people killing people every day. He might not even be from the rappers sending their goons. You get what I'm saying? He might just be a diehard fan who is ready to die for, for some of these celebrities, which is really crazy to me. I don't know how the F you want to, you know, risk your life for a celebrity that you don't know anything about and stuff like that. It's really crazy how people behave on the internet, how people take shit to the heart. I mean, it's crazy for real. Right now, bro, so many of these street gangsters, you know, they don't know how to do with their emotions. You know, especially on social media, bro. Some people don't know how to deal with their emotions. Some people don't even know how to think straight, bro. We've been talking about this situation for a long time. I've seen a lot of people coming under the comment section to attack me because of the accent and stuff like that, bro. It doesn't really matter, right? Go do your own shit. Go make your own YouTube videos or go watch other people's YouTube videos, man. I'm doing what is right. I'm doing what I love to do. So let's start knowing how to deal with our emotions. You know, some grown men, bro, because I have people at their 50s and stuff watching my videos. But, you know, they are not really grown. I mean, it's crazy, right? Let me know what you all think, man. Catch you guys later.